G'day guys, Clint here from WaterPro and I'm going to make a bit of a video today about flow loss through tap timers on, on a tap. So we had a customer come to us this morning with an issue where their sprinklers weren't popping up. Everything checks out from a flow standpoint. They had 30 litres a minute at their tap when they first installed the system, but the sprinklers aren't popping up now. There's no reason they shouldn't be other than flow and pressure loss. So I haven't done this before. I thought it would be cool just to run a flow test with a bare tap. Then I'm going to run a flow test through an Orbit Beehive tap timer. Then I'm going to run a flow test through a Hunter BT tap timer and just see how each of those react. Uh, this is going to be quite beneficial for our internal sales team to understand the relationships um, and also obviously the, the groups that we're in on, on social media. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because everything in irrigation is data driven. Everything we um, sell has flow and pressure loss uh, data behind it. Everything's been tested. And so if you've got a problem, uh, you can use the maths to try and work out where the problem is and then you can get your solution. So first I'm going to test just the bucket. So this is a 10 litre bucket. You guys would have seen us do this before. I'm going to time it on my phone. Um, I'm going to turn the tap right on first. Lucky I've got thongs on today. So that's a 10 litre bucket. So we're kind of getting close to 22, 23, 24. I'm gonna call that 31. So that's just under 20 litres a minute. Probably the only time these plants ever get watered is when we're doing flow tests. So the next thing we're going to put on is the Orbit Beehive timer. Now this one here is the timer that was in question with the client that's having issues with their sprinklers popping up. Right, hopefully that's enough. And tap right on. So you just hold that down. All right, so see how you can, there's a noticeable change there. So you can see visually straight away that's a lot slower. Um, I think before we even get to that being completely full up, this is going to give me a really good understanding of what went wrong at that site. Um, not only has the, the amount of water that's coming out, I don't know, it, it looks like there's less pressure, but maybe similar flow. Um, so this client might be having a pressure issue. It's getting really close to the same. So we're at 31 now, and we're probably going to fill that bucket out to about 35 so it's close but it could be the all the difference so when we do an irrigation design we, we design to 80 percent of the available flow um, I noticed a lot of pressure, I guess it looked like there was less pressure coming out then, you know, I could be wrong. Um, and without doing a pressure test, <laughs> you're not going to know. The reason why I'm doing this just as a flow test and without a pressure gauge and on a garden tap is because the majority of the systems that we sell like this are to homeowners who don't have access to that kind of product. So, uh, all right, so Hunter BT tap timer. Same deal, I'll take that off. So, let's see how this one goes. Okay. 
Is that even all going in the bucket? <laughs> So that's at 31 now. So that's almost like, I'd say that's 33, 34. So it's, it's I think, to, I guess, uh, out of the interest of the products, I, I don't think, um, at, obviously we only had 20 liters a minute at the tap initially. Um, and both timers appeared to react the same. So I think if you were looking to choose between the Hunter and the Orbit from a flow standpoint, uh, at least with our tap at 20 litres a minute, it, it hasn't changed it much. Uh, I would suggest that the higher we go up the flow range, the more it will change it. Uh, for, to be able to test that, I need to find a tap that's putting out 30 litres a minute. Um, I might head over to WaterPro now and have a look and see if the front of WaterPro has a higher flow. Um, but yeah, that's for whatever use that is to anyone, it's, I guess, the flow characteristic or the flow change from a bare tap to an Orbit Beehive to a Hunter Bluetooth tap timer, they both perform very similar and they haven't dropped the flow by much. Road trip. <coughs> Gotta stay hydrated, it's a hot day. All right, here we go. Tap number two. So that I would call 15 seconds, so now we're in the money. We've got something a bit more usable. I watered all this on the weekend because I walked out and they all looked dead. Now, I think we're going to see a bit of a difference now. If I can get that under there, yep, that should be right. Turn that on. So I think it's still on from before, the timer. Watch your feet while you're up. So we're just hitting 15 seconds now. And I'm gonna say that's 20 seconds. So that's a noticeable difference. You know, you work on just the, the 15 and the 20 seconds, that's what, 33% or 25% difference, depending on which way you're gonna go. So if we're working with 30 liters a minute and we lose 25 to 30%, we're down at 20, which is kind of, this is confirming my suspicions about the job in question. Now, if this is the timer that the client's using, that timer there is what I'm gonna suggest they change to potentially which hopefully will fill up this bucket in 16 or 17 seconds, and I reckon that's the solution. Cross your fingers. You probably can't cross your fingers, you're holding a camera, but yeah. Obviously the higher the pressure goes on a system, or the higher the flow is, the more these small tap timer devices affect things because it's trying to force flow through a, a smaller hole. Now this Hunter one's an actual solenoid valve, not a, that's a this is a tap timer that has a ball in it and a ball just turns and opens the water. This is actually a little solenoid valve. So hopefully, yeah, that's already looking better. So that's at 15 seconds, 
Now. Whoa, that's kind of 18 and a half. It's better. Um, not as better as I'd hoped. Keeping in mind, this is all relying on my ability to turn a clock on and off quickly. You might be able to re redo it when you're looking at the video and actually get a proper time on it. But, um, you know, this isn't, this isn't Olympic, Olympic swimming trials. Yeah, so then the next thing that you would test on something like this, if you found that that wasn't the solution, would be to go to a, an automatic solenoid valve. So uh, in this situation, I think um, the tap timer, the loss of flow through that tap timer, oh, the, the loss of flow through that tap timer wasn't taken into account. And um, I think that we might need to change the timer over for the client. As a company, we give advice. People come here because they trust us because of our reputation and our brand. I didn't feel like this had probably kind of ticked the right box as far as this client getting the result that they were after. And this, is, this test has kind of confirmed what I was thinking. So I'll be able to go back to the client now and say, look, maybe we can give you a Hunter Bluetooth tap timer for free to help solve the problem or even upgrade to a, a full automatic system if that saves them the trouble of going back and doing more digging. So hopefully that's been of help to some of you. It definitely has to me. Uh, don't forget, if you're enjoying these videos, subscribe wherever that is, click that bell, make sure you're following. Um, and if not, that's cool too. Thank you.